Hi everybody, today we're going to be watching Microsoft Build. By Microsoft Build, I mean one of the most boring events of our lifetime. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it's, it's better than staring at a wall. Wait, is he, is like his butt, his remote, like, do you see like it has like a big red button on it? Wait, I, I should, it's literally just, like the nuclear just, launch codes. <laughs> then he's gonna set off the nuclear launch codes if he presses that button. That's the AI kill switch that they were talking about. When you're creating a document... You could hear a pin drop in the room, oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, it's so bad. This is awful. Oh, by the way, what makes this even worse is that before they even started airing, they uploaded a blog post yesterday. <laughs> they just... All of this. I'm going to show you how the co-pilot is grounded in your company's data thereby helping you work more efficiently. <laughs> I'll show it how it's grounded in your data, meaning we're feeding all of your data to it. <laughs> These people look so enthused. They must be so happy. I mean, I guess it would probably behoove us to pay attention because this is how all of business is going to communicate in the next, like, year. <laughs> what do you mean? We don't need to pay attention. We just tell Copilot to answer all of the questions for <laughs> yeah. us. Yes, Copilot. Take just just do the stuff for me. I I don't I don't even need to tell you anymore. Just do the oh, things. Oh, while me. you're at it, can you spin up those Microsoft awful ab metaverse avatars and then have them speak in a text to speech voice in a Teams call for me? Thanks. Wait, what is that wallpaper in the background? That's not one of the it's, stock it's, Windows it's 11 blue. wallpapers. <laughs> it's blue. Is what it is. It's probably AI generated. No, not that one. Like when they show where they show the Teams window, there's a background, and that background isn't one of the stock. Microsoft 11, Windows 11 wallpapers. It's a different, like, thing. Windows 12 confirmed. Mm -hmm. You heard it here first, folks. That's probably proof Windows 12 is coming. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I wish Panos would show up. <laughs> this is insufferable. Back to you, Rajesh. Thank you, Yina. That was awesome. Thank you, Yina. That was awesome. So we, what we <laughs> he looks like he's got the stuffing beat out of him. <laughs> Did they like throw her on stage, like, and like not tell her what's going on? I I feel like I I think what she is is she's really nervous, which I feel bad for because I've definitely been in front of a group of people and feel felt really really nervous. But I I can't tell if she's really nervous or if she just like drank a lot of coffee beforehand for a presentation to rella cloud whoa Thank what you. was that Back what whoa, 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 what Thank you, i i i think i i think she's really tired and probably just needed to sit down i i actually don't know have, have there actually been rumors about windows 12 yes they are very real basically there are rumors circulating among some of the top windows leakers and journalists that the next release of Windows is going to come at the end of this year or next year. And it's going, which is probably at the end of this year, because they want to release it in 2024. And that's mirrors, you know, Windows 11, which they had an awful event for in 2021. And then it comes out in 2022, right? You know, to match the timeline, right? And then, yeah. And then when it comes out, they're going to have all, it's going to be the AI release. But the AI release has all sorts of special AI features, and what they're going to do is they're going to require that you have a processor with an NPU, which is only newer hardware, which doesn't even exist yet. Cringe! Cringe! Oh, the metaverse! Oh my gosh, the don't even metaverse. remind me of this. Me and White Panos to the stage. Yes! Yes! yes. Actually smiled impossible. I love it. I love it. <laughs> I love it when people get pumped about Windows. You little bit pumped about Windows a little bit. <laughs> Self-aware. Stop. He, he just has so much of a better stage presence. <laughs> no, he doesn't. This is Panos we're talking about here. He's gonna tell a story about his family. Watch, just watch. He, he still has a better stage presence. Time to be a developer. I mean, he looks like he's gonna burst into tears at any moment, like Panos always does, but... <laughs> now, we've talked a lot about AI. You've heard a lot about it. 
Yes, I've heard arguably too much about it. That is a pretty cool wallpaper. Yes, but where... This is what I mean. It's like, this is clearly made for something. And what if that something is Windows 12? What if they announce Windows 12 at the end of this? Is that even a possibility? No, there's no way. They're going to announce Windows 12 at the end of this. They're going to do it for the it's holiday too early. season. But I mean, they did that. They probably learned their lesson with Windows 11 because they, this is about the time they announced Windows 11, and that was a train wreck. Yes, but when has Microsoft ever learned from their mistakes? Now I'm gonna do what I'm not supposed to do on stage and ask a question. You never do this in a keynote, just so you know. When you ask a question, if people oh, don't no. answer it, it's a terrible moment. So just stick with me. <clears throat> Cringe. So so true. Don't do it. You always lose your audience. But let me just say, I told, I saw you. I'm like, oh right, you. You were born in the internet. Panos, I got it. Stop. I... Stop it. Panos, just stop. <laughs> oh my gosh. Panos, I don't care about your personal understanding of the internet when you were like 20 years younger. I literally don't care. Just get to the point, Panos. Are you going to tell me a story about your daughters? so hard to get on. I use this thing called Gopher. I was like, beep, 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 bam, 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 bam. You hear that, nerds? You mentioned Gopher. Oh, it'll be so relatable. I remember, I remember the first few days at work. Don't get me wrong. I did a little bit of work, but I also remember being on the internet. We all know what you were doing on the internet, Panos. It's okay. You said, on the internet, Imagine. then people laughed. And it's like, hmm. Feeling. It was, it's indescribable. Dude, it's just a computer. Even <laughs> it's not just no a computer. No one cares. Actually, no, what's a computer? Stop it. Stop <laughs> it. Get out of here. I'm going to take your iPad and break it over your head. <laughs> The first couple of weeks, I read the entire internet, for sure. I've just, I, I read the whole ESPN catalog, there's no doubt about it. I mean, I read everything. You might not know where to start. What are those shoes? Oh my I, gosh. I was just remarking, what, it, the what toe are, is, is square. Like... We're not going to talk in great depth of it today. Shilpil hit some of it, get in there, read the blog, it's... Microsoft, we're going to talk about it today! <laughs> no! No! They're, 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 they're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna make you they're come saving back it for October. For they're saving it for Ignite. So at Microsoft Ignite this year, they can announce Windows 12. I'm gonna come down here. I have no, to share with you. he's walking off stage! Yes! Yes! That's the panels I know! Panels, come back. We can't light you. <laughs> Actually, what do we do? Just stay to this like, one guy's like, camera. Is he really getting close to me? <laughs> All the guys are like so bored, so bored, so bored. Have to focus, have to pretend to pay attention. <laughs> this has a platform, a funnel for all those plugins that you can bring forward. The two days of plugin palooza that you got. Plugin <laughs> palooza. Pumped plugin palooza. Plugin palooza. has to stop what? with the P words. <laughs> the guy just looking at the camera. <laughs> I, I like how they keep, like, sliding in Ubuntu. I am so glad you're glad. The team's going to be thrilled. This is awesome. Um, now you heard Panos briefly <laughs> talk about this She brushed over that so quickly, though. Like, being able to, like, open RAR and 7-Zip archives directly in Explorer, sign me up. <laughs> that, that, is, that is pretty good. I mean, everyone already has either WinRAR or 7-Zip already installed in their machine, so... I, I miss having um what what are they my my notes in my widgets and my calculator Microsoft floating on top widgets. of my desktop. The best feature that Microsoft could introduce to the widgets is turn them off. <laughs> We're introducing a new feature called AI generated review summary. But what if the AI generates a bad review? <laughs> Uh, well, they ha they have a, an answer to that. There's always a little disclaimer down at the bottom that says sometimes the AI will generate uh, d generate miss. Uh, oh, that Australian politician! He molested a child. This description might be wrong. <laughs> See, he's looking up too. He's what if instead at of looking his, uh, up at the teleprompter, there's a sniper like in the ceiling pointing a gun at him? 
Yeah, so I'm gonna take is you on a quick tour. Is it pre-recorded like the last couple demos? This is, this is gonna take a tour. This this definitely it's definitely not pre-recorded. Meaning, click a button on a PowerPoint. No, it it's definitely not pre-recorded. That's prompt is not very good. Okay. <laughs> wow. In, image landscape in about ten-ish seconds. That looks so bad. That's right, bad. but we can do better than that. Boom. Two seconds. Fantastic. Wow. Wind that was, that was also Such bad. wow. Why not? <laughs> That's atrocious. <laughs> eh. I mean, they they could they they could they could have chosen a better. They, they this could, is the best you have to offer, Microsoft. They they could have chosen better prompts. And Paulus is going to come back here to tell us what this opportunity no. looks like in the future. Thank you very much. Sorry, that was Stevie. He said the wrong name. I'm not Panis. <laughs> I gotta admit, I'm actually feeling a, feeling a little vulnerable. I uh, see last year, I had a bunch of really cool demos uh, to lean on. Uh, this year, Panov handed oh, me yeah, a blank okay. piece of paper. I, I, yeah, he was the guy who played gu the guitar, and and uh, and he uh, he scolded Panos for for trying to to uh, um, uh, trying to demonstrate the noise canceling. Look at that teleprompter! Whoa! <laughs> <gasps> Did you see that teleprompter? I guess that's what they've been looking up at. Wait until the teleprompter says, let me tell you a story about my family. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to bring Panos back on stage to help us close oh. it out. Oh. 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 Stay, Stay with me. Stay with me. <laughs> that was the most awkward hug in the world. Yay. Just remember the Windows Copilot. Wow, well, that's over. a lot of displays. They went over. You see that yellow thing? They went over. Is that what that's saying? Yeah, they went over. Yay, it's over. Wow, Microsoft. Ooh, pretty colors. That was, wow. That, all right, basically this event was atrocious. Can't say a single positive thing about it. What was your favorite part about the event? Um, I'm I'm literally trying to think back to it, and I actually am having trouble remembering. Let me. All right, I'll, of I'll speak basic. for you, okay? I think your favorite part about the event was being able to open RAR and Seven Zip files in File Explorer. I mean, yeah, I guess that's good. The you know finally having a native way of doing that rather than having to go download a third party app. That's pretty good. Privacy was already dead, but like it, it's even more dead than it already it already was. It's like we're like privacy is dead, and now we're just like desec desecrating the the grave of privacy. It's like it, it's even more dead than it already previously was. It's so bad. It's it is like everything that you do on your computer now not only is going to be collected with telemetry now all of this telemetry gets to be analyzed by an ai that then reports back all of the things that you're doing you just can't make windows private in windows like in windows 10 or in windows 11 or the future windows 12 you just won't well okay it's so impossible. so here's here's my cynical view if you're right which i think you are that windows 12 is going to require either a gpu or an mpu for for in order to run windows 12 one of the functions of that GPU or NPU is going to be running an AI model in the background that always runs and you can't turn off. And that AI, one of its jobs, is going to be to collect telemetry about what you do and then put it in, it, then summarize it and send it back to, to Microsoft. I agree with you, but I think you're wrong about one thing. What? Not being able to turn it off. What you think because that you Windows will be able is to so fundamentally off? broken and old that people will find a way. <laughs> I think people will find a way to do it, but I don't think that there will be a functional way to turn it off. Not I in think, the GUI. I think it's the same as like making a, a new install of Windows without uh, a Microsoft account. You can do it, but the computer is going to scream at you the whole time. And it's going to aggressively try to get you to have a Microsoft account. They, you're going to be able to turn off the AI and all of the AI features. But the computer is going to 
to insist constantly that you use the AI features. Sounds like a certain fruit-based company, what they're doing with their account system, huh? I, I mean, Apple is not as bad as, as the way that Windows they're does it. They're getting worse. They, they are getting worse, it is true. Speaking of Apple, that is the next time you want to catch one of these when we'll see you. So, but until then, why don't you go leave a like on this video? Leave a like on this video if you liked it when Panos walked into the uncaring sea of people. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Uh, we will catch you later. We'll probably see ya first week of June when Apple humiliates themselves by releasing a pair of ski goggles with cartoon characters. <laughs>